We, as a natural history collection, are keepers of biodiversity. We document biodiversity. So each of our specimens are a record of a species in a time and a place. And each specimen tells a story. And these guys are definitely darker. Mm -hmm. Often, when these specimens are collected, we don't even know how they'll be studied. We're just, in the very basic terms, documenting what's out there and when and where and how they were living before we collected them. I love getting to come into the collections and see the birds in here and just learn more about that basic natural history. One reason why things like the museum are so important is that we are preserving lots and lots of data that may not be possible to get in the future. Because I study birds of prey and because a lot of them are like very protected and endangered, a lot of times I don't have an option, like you can't collect them anymore. I can still learn new things about birds that were collected 130 years ago. And that's just amazing to me. In the early history of ornithology, collectors would visit some place, potentially a colony that was being formed, collect those specimens and bring them back to Europe and study them there independently of the people um, and the culture where that specimen was collected. And now what we try to do is to work with people in those places to um, together understand the diversity of those places. From a conservation and from an ethical perspective, it's important that we collaborate. In my line of inquiry, I would think of environment justice as a means to include and represent people from various perspectives and trying to integrate that into my work, my research, and my understanding of knowledge in the first place. Science is a human enterprise at the end of the day. We are trying to find out objective truths about the world, but we're never going to do that perfectly because we're human. How do you think you're going to do tomorrow? Maybe if we all put our heads together, we come up with a better and less biased science. Part of what I do is make sure that they're still accessible to other researchers, and I also add to more collections, go out there and collect more specimens that we can use in a comparative way. The beauty of natural history collections is in another 50 years, we're gonna be asking some of the same questions of what are new species, and some different questions of how we can understand their evolution and their ecology. We don't know exactly what questions people are going to be asking in the future, but we are contributing to that future research right now.